Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over GTPAL. This video is part of an NCLEX review series over maternity nursing. So, if you're studying maternity, be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And as always, in the YouTube description below, you can access the quiz that will test you on GTPAL. So, let's get started. Okay, first, let's start out talking about what is GTPAL. This is an acronym used to assess pregnancy outcomes. So on the NCLEX exam or in, on your nursing lecture exams, especially in maternity, you will be given this, given this scenario and it's going to um, talk to you about how the woman's currently pregnant, how she has this many children who are living, they were born at um, this many weeks versus that many weeks, and um, if she's had any miscarriages or abortions. And you have to go through this and you have to calculate out what her GTPAL is. And you'll be given all these options and you have to select the correct option. So what I want to do is I want to go over this with you and then I'm going to work some problems and show you how to do it. Okay, so G. G stands for gravidity. And this is the number of times a woman has been pregnant. Now, this will include the current pregnancy, if she's currently pregnant, and any miscarriages or abortions, because that counts as a pregnancy. Because a lot of people um, get confused and they forget to add the current pregnancy into gravidity. So remember that. Now, another thing to remember is that twins and triplets count as one under this. They don't count, if she has twins, it doesn't count as two. It just counts as one pregnancy. Now, T for pre uh, for term births. This is the number of children born at 37 weeks onward. And again, twins and triplets count as one. P for preterm birth. This is the number of children born at 20 to 37 weeks. Now, next to A for abortions or miscarriages. Um, whenever you're calculating this out, you will count this as a pregnancy, as I talked about in gravidity. You will count that as a pregnancy. Now, L for living children, this is the number of living children that she has. And here, why well, I have like four asterisks, twins, triplets, the multiples count individually. So say she has healthy twin girls, they're five years old, um, your gravidity would be one because she, they were born, that was one pregnancy. However, your living children would be two because they count individually. Now let's work some problems. Okay, let's look at this scenario. It says a 26-year-old female is 26 weeks pregnant. She had a miscarriage at 10 weeks gestation five years ago. She has a three-year-old who was born at 39 weeks. What is her GTPAL? Okay, so whenever I'm solving these scenarios, what I like to do is I like to just write out G, T, P, A, L. And then just dissect the scenario and tally underneath each acronym part and then add it up at the end and have my answer complete. Okay, so first let's look at gravidity. This, remember, is the number of times the woman has been pregnant. It includes the current pregnancy and miscarriages, abortions, and of course any living children. So the female is 26 weeks pregnant, so she is pregnant right now. Um, she also got pregnant but miscarried at 10 weeks, so she's been pregnant two times. And she has a three-year-old who was born at 39 weeks. So she's been pregnant a total of three times. Now, let's do our term, preterm, abortion, and living. Okay, she had a miscarriage. So A stands for abortion or miscarriage, so we'll put that under A. And it was at 10 weeks gestation. So that will not go under preterm unless it was 20 weeks onward. And she has a three-year-old currently living, so that will go under living, who was born at 39 weeks. And 37 weeks onward is considered term, so put it under T for term. And there's no preterm children. So what we're going to do is add it up, and your answer should look something like this, which will represent what one of those options you can select on an exam. It would be G equals 3, T equals 1, P equals O, A equals 1, 
and L equals one. Okay, so if you wanna get some more practice on calculating these problems, cause that's how you get good at them, is doing them over and over, I suggest you go to my website, registernursrn.com, and take the free quiz. And thank you so much for watching, and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.